It has all come full circle. What's going on, Wedgeball Prime Arts here, and welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we have Effin. My first ever reaction video on this channel was the Effin Rewind EP. No, Flashback CP, sorry. Which was a, a good video and uh, did pretty well. Um, I even got a comment from Effin, which was which was really sick. It's It's been over a year and a half since we listened to Effin here on the Problem Rides channel. So um, yeah, I'm very excited to uh, get into this because Effin, I love his stuff, I, I always have. There's a couple of songs that are, you know, kind of a miss for me, but for the most part, his discography is very good, and I love his super chunky, beefy, no pun intended, style. What has he released since then? Um, a lot of stuff. He had a Monster Cat release, which was pretty cool. Faces EP was all right. Uh, Bread and Onion, I remember as well. Uh, Bread was earlier this year. So yeah, he's definitely got his fair share of bangers, and let's hope that this right here is also a fair share of bangers. So let's get started with track one, Dinner for Two. Already these vocals, he always uses these vocals, they're so sick. Oh, hey. Ooh. I was not expecting that snare from him. Yeah, this is more deeper than we usually get from Effin. Oh my god. Okay. Mm. Ooh, okay. That was a really nice pick up. I like how it moves around like that. Are we getting a melodic section? The vo even the vocals are like vocoded. Okay. Okay. Taking a very nice turn here. Oh, uh, okay. I thought we were getting a melodic drop. Check this out. cool idea I did like I really did like that midsection I kind of wish it did a little bit more with that not an insanely interesting song for me to be honest with you I feel like the snare kind of weirded me out too like I felt like there should have been like a chunkier snare there that would have fit better because there's all this deep crunching bass for a switch up maybe that would have been cool but yeah it just kind of threw me off a little bit definitely could have experienced some more energy in there but still, it is still cool for what is it is though. Okay, next track is Damsel. Let's go. Okay. I really like that vocal. I like that vocal a lot. I like that vocal a lot. Oh, I like that little side chain on, on the clap. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. I like this. I like this more. Okay, this is a vibe. I like this. I, yeah, I definitely, I definitely enjoy how laid back this is, but also it's like so effing. You know what I mean? Oh, we're getting a tempo switch. Okay, let's go. Effing house. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, this is dope. This is a dope track. This is dope. That was lovely. That was lovely. Okay. That was much better, in my opinion. I enjoyed that a lot more. Yeah, I don't really have any complaints. Um, maybe some vocal work in the drops, you know, that melodic vocal, but that's about it. Like, this was this was really, really good song. Okay, the Effin and Art of Profit collab, Take Away. Never in my dreams would I thought these two would work on a song together, but here we are. Okay, we got a more minimal intro. I kinda like it though. I like the reverb above the vocal. This is promising. Now it's not. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
thing. I like the vocal adding. Um, I don't like. I, I gotta pause real quick. I don't like those long sustains that just kind of just pitch down or something. There's nothing else that's there that's wanting me to keep up with the flow. You know, there's no like vocal chops. There's no like other sound that's like boom, boom, boom. That's like a quicker flow that's competing with that. I, I don't really, just feels really empty to me and I don't like it just kind of by itself. It feels really awkward, but that's just me. All right, let's, let's continue. Like maybe if a chop of the vocal was repeating, in the drop with that large sustain, then that would have been that would have been a lot more enjoyable. But I, I really do like this intro and build. Let's see if we can do something different. Come on. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Yes. That's much better. Okay. Okay. We have redeemed ourselves. Okay. That, that was way more enjoyable. I'm glad I enjoy a certain part, and who knows, maybe this, maybe that first drop will grow on me, but at the moment, I don't see it. I'm sorry. Still a pretty cool concept, though. I just, it doesn't really flow well with me. Uh, that second drop, though, y'all combine your styles really well. Actually, this entire song, y'all did pretty well combining your styles. That still doesn't mean that I like the first drop. <laughs> that still doesn't mean that. Still wasn't a fan of it. Okay, final track, N2K. Oh, M2K means need to know. Okay, got it. Mm. Almost on that like garage approach. Very, very odd. I'm getting more into the melodic effing tracks than I am the heavier tracks. That's, that's something that's never happened before. Okay. Is that the second drop? Oh, there's a whole 40 seconds left. <laughs> Lo-fi effing? Okay, I'm all for that. Hmm. Okay, that was a good song. Okay, um, that is the EP. Let me tell y'all something. That was definitely not what I expected from Mr. Affin. Let me go read what he said about this EP on Instagram. For the Distress EP, I wanted to approach the production in a way where I can find a myriad, myriad of different styles, which definitely did happen. Did I love every part of those styles though? No, and I'm not gonna say, don't ever do that again. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, some some parts of the heavier songs, Dinner for Two and Take Away, I just felt that and didn't really um, energize with me. I don't know what word I'm looking for. The title comes out from a combination of distortion and resonance. Distress, okay. Which dictated a lot of the sound design and sample selection. Yeah, definitely um, could see that you are doing some more different stuff in here, which I'm all for. I am all for you doing that, please. Do what makes you happy. Yeah, I'm glad you did bring something different to the table. In my opinion, you need a little bit more work. Now, Damsel and N2K, I'm a fan of. So, yeah, this, this whole EP I'm actually really 50-50 with because there's a lot of parts that I liked and a lot of parts that I was like, eh. So, um, but yeah, it still is that effing style, which I'm always into. The chants those super chunky basses, and even kind of the intros as well, and also the artwork. Shout out to whoever made the artwork, because it's always fire. Definitely falls short in comparison to my thoughts and reactions to the Flashbacks EP. I still think that is Effin's best work to this day. Um, super fire. Uh, definitely a lot more heavy stuff going on there though, and a lot more energy, so I guess that's why. I'm not really sure, but yeah. Still shout out Effin. I still, uh, did like a lot of stuff going on in here. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe button. And I will see you all later. All right.
Combine.